What is going on guys, Shadow Pyro here, playing some Destiny, and in this video we're talking Scout Rifles. Now, uh, back when the House of Wolves came out, I did a comparison video of the Ven uh, that the vendor sells versus the Crucible Scout Rifle that that vendor sells. And we're going to do the same thing here, but we're also going to throw in a couple of different Scout Rifles, just to really you know paint a good picture of what the Scout Rifle game looks like in the Taken King. So real quick, we're going to go ahead and open up the Vanguard Quartermaster here, and we're going to look at this scout rifle called Not Like the Others. Now the base stats on this scout rifle are pretty good, and they're actually identical to the hung jury that the Dead Orbit uh, vendor dude sells, whatever you want to call them. And aside from reload and magazine size, they are identical. Now if you go buy the hung jury from the Dead Orbit vendor, uh, it comes, I believe, with a 16 round clip as opposed to a 12 but I'm using the perk that decreases your magazine size and in exchange gives you a higher reload speed. So as far as not like the others, I have owned this scout rifle. I got it from decoding a legendary Ingram and I actually dismantled it. Not because it's a bad weapon, but because I already had the hung jury, which is a fantastic scout rifle. And as I said, the perks side by side, the stats of them, they're virtually identical. Now we're going to go into our inventory real quick. And we are going to equip the last extremity, which is the Crucible Scout Rifle. Now, comparing these two side by side, you can see that the last extremity has way more impact than the Not Like the Others. But on the flip side of that, Not Like the Others have has more stability and a higher rate of fire. Now, as far as stability goes on Scout Rifles, honestly, it really does not make that much of a difference since you're only firing one shot at a time. As long as the stability is more than about a quarter full, you're honestly not going to know that it's that much of a difference. Um, so for you, this is really going to come down to your play style. If you're like me, I like to kind of hang back and pick enemies off from a distance. You know, pop the headshots and, you know, stay in a safe place and just kind of camp. And I'm talking PvE, of course. But if that's your play style, then the last extremity is definitely going to be the one that you want to use. If you're more of the run and gun, you want to rush up in there and get close to the enemies, then you're probably going to want not like the others because of the higher rate of fire. Uh, comparing these to some other scout rifles, we'll go ahead and pop on the Boolean Gemini here, which is an exotic scout rifle. Um, you actually obtain this, a lot of people think that you're supposed to get this from completing the Lost and Found quest that you get from Petra. But actually, the way that you get this is by completing every single quest that the Reef has to offer. The bounties that Petra gives you don't matter, but you have to complete all the quests. You have to complete uh, the Taken War Petra, the Taken War Mars, um, Lost and Found, and the one Varix gives you where you hunt the new House of Wolves and have to kill the new Servitor boss. So that's how you get this. You complete every single quest, and I'll go ahead and show you this if you haven't seen it. This is actually the 347 Dynasty. You can see the 347 three, right here. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what it does. Fight your way is what it says up here. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and compare that to the Vanguard Scout real quick. And, again, you can see that the stats are virtually identical with the exception of the range. Now, the only reason that mine does not have higher range is because I haven't fully leveled it. I have all the upgrades unlocked for the Boolean Gemini, but as far as having the weapon parts, that's a different story. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Mars and check out some of these scout rifles. We're going to get some hands-on time with them. Alright, so here we are on Mars. Don't you just love the power of video editing? It's fantastic. And uh, we're just going to go right over here where these Vex and Cabal are constantly fighting each other, and we are going to pick a couple of them off just to see what kind of damage these guns do. Uh, if I can remember how to get over there, jeez. I think it's like right here. Yeah. So uh, here we go. This is uh, the last extremity. I'll go ahead and open up the perks that I have on this one. And uh, this one you obtain from the Crucible Quartermaster for 150 legendary marks. You can see that it is an Amalon weapon, so it has that little, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the fluid you know, clip thing. I'll show you that real quick. You can see that little blue thing of fluid on the side. It shows you how much rounds you have. It's pretty neat. Uh, for this one, I prefer the long-range scope, just because this is basically a sniper rifle that is semi-automatic and shoots really fast. You can see that it'll kill most enemies if you get a precision shot. It'll kill them pretty much on the first hit. And even some higher-level enemies, like, uh, well, the Minotaur went away. But 
it's a very good weapon to just kind of hang back and get those precision shots. Um, this is definitely not a weapon that you want to get up close and personal with, because as you can see, this is the fastest it fires. So, if you're running this and you like to rush, I recommend countering it with something like a shotgun and a rocket launcher or possibly a shotgun and a heavy machine gun. Or if you're into the swords, if you're addicted to the swords, then go ahead and bust out a sword, man. It doesn't matter. But this is a very fun weapon to use. You can see it does an insane amount of damage. We're getting about 900 a shot on bosses. This thing will do 1,700 a shot for a critical hit. It is absolutely ridiculous. This is probably one of the most high-powered, high-impact scout rifles that I've ever seen in the game of Destiny. Um, if I had to compare it to something, I would compare it to the Badger CCL uh, from the Dark Below, which is a Vanguard scout rifle that you could buy. And uh, that used to be one of my favorite. I'm a really big fan of just the ridiculously high impact scout rifle. So this is this is pretty much my go-to. Now we'll go ahead and switch this out to the Dead Orbit Hung Jury. That has a little bit higher rate of fire and slightly less impact. So we can take a look at this. You can see it's an Amalon weapon as well. Fire rate on that. it It's definitely noticeable. I mean, it's, it's a lot more. Uh, this one, I usually kind of do the same thing. I, I hang back and I snipe, but this is a good weapon to just kind of rush the enemy with. So, I mean, it, like I said, it all depends on your play style, how you want to handle it. You can see that it does pretty decent damage. I don't know why we didn't get a hit marker on that guy. But uh, we'll wait until some of these Vex spawn back, and we will check out some of the damage that this thing can do. There we go. Look this way, guy. Why am I not getting any damage popping up? Every time I try to make a video, something stupid happens. But anyway, that should, <laughs> that should respawn the Vex. There was just one straggler over there. So we'll go ahead and jump back up here, take the high ground, and check these guys out. We'll go ahead and snipe some of them. Where are you at? There you are. There we go. So you can see we're getting 504 as opposed to 804 that we were getting with... Um, the last extremity, and you're pretty much going to get the same from the uh, Vanguard Scout Rifle 2, the not like the other. It's going to be about the same as this. You're going to get about 504 for critical hits. You can see there we got 7. So, I mean, it just depends on the enemy, how high they are, you know, how shit or whether it's a kill shot or not. So, it's a pretty good rifle. Um, I would recommend running it with. A different site actually I like using this middle site right here for the Amalon because uh, it's it's really clean it gives you a decent amount of zoom and it's gonna play to this weapon strengths which like I said is going to be the close quarters rush style of gameplay so we'll go ahead and compare the Boolean Gemini to the rest of these and I'm in love with this thing uh, this is definitely a very fun weapon to use the only thing that I do not like about it is that it takes up an exotic slot and in my exotic slot, I would much rather have my sniper rifle, which is called the Hereafter. So, uh, yeah. You can see that we get slightly better damage with this. We got 530 instead of 505 with the Dead Orbit Scout, which, again, the Dead Orbit Scout is representing the Not Like the Other. I've had Not Like the Other, and they are identical. They get the same hit markers. They get everything. I dismantled mine, so I can't actually show it to you. But, uh... Yeah, the Boolean Gemini is definitely a fun weapon to use. You can see that it has a very good rate of fire for a scout rifle. This is going to be another one of those where you can do it long range. It has decent zoom. You can't change the sights on it, unfortunately. You're kind of stuck with this sight and only this sight. But it's it's a really good rushing scout rifle. Um, it's really good against bosses just because you get that 19 round clip. As you can see, it's the highest... Uh, clip that I've seen personally in a scout rifle that I own as of yet in the Taken King and it's really good for just running up on the enemies but all together guys like all said and done it really just depends on what your style of gameplay is if you like to rush go get yourself the Vanguard Scout if you like to hang back and just kinda snipe with a scout rifle then the last extremity is the scout rifle for you uh, this one right here is my personal favorite. The only downside of this is the 12 round magazine, but you make up for that with the pretty quick reload speed, as you can see there. But it's a very fun weapon to use, and like I said, it's essentially a sniper rifle. I mean, you could just do hell and kill these enemies with absolutely no problem, 
and it's fantastic. It does pretty decent damage, too. Like I said, on major bosses, you can get well into the thousands as far as your damage. I usually get about 1,700 for crit hits on a major or ultra. Quit moving. There you go. You can see on these little low-level guys, we're getting about 605. Um, a couple of them, like the Vex, will get you know a little bit higher. We'll get up in the 800s, but it depends on the enemy and what level they are. But anyway, guys, uh, that's going to wrap this video up. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know which one of these scout rifles is your favorite. And uh, take care, guys.